Uh, there were a lot of good bands. I mean, I, I particularly liked Artery. I, I, I was uh, quite keen on Artery, and particularly that song, uh, Into the Garden, which uh, I can still listen to and derive pleasure from. Everyone was focused in what they were into. They wanted to create for themselves. You could smell it, you could sense the opportunity was there. To get involved in your own creative environment, everyone was at it and doing it and believing it. Along with the kind of the, the upsurge in people creating bands, you know, people were finding places to play as well. People were genuinely interested in what everybody else was doing, creatively. And that's, that is, in essence, in distilled what a scene is, isn't it? It was about people wanting to express themselves, and it, that opened the doorways. And then we were one of those examples of a band that wanted to be an expressive unit. All the work putting into the music in the rehearsals like three times a week for three hours each time when we did make it to the stage you know it weren't going to fail and it was going to be it was going to be oh crucial Once I discovered archery, I went to every gig I could. That was it. They were just a uh, compulsive viewing for me. Very unpredictable, um, great performers. You never knew what you were getting with an archery gig. With the, but Jarvis would follow archery down as well, like myself. He would, he would be at all the gigs. I thought they were great because mm -hmm. it was really intense. And I've never seen a group like that before where it it didn't really seem to be so much to do with the music, it was like it created an atmosphere where you almost got a bit of mild hysteria going on. What are the mechanisms to create success? Is it patience? Well, I don't know, is it, is it creative, is it the work, is it the creative, or is it the exposure? John Peel loved Artery, he played all our songs, he played, we did two sessions with him. It was a big thing happening, you know, but the fact that we weren't in the epicentre probably didn't mark it, I don't know. The trouble was with Sheffield was that, because the only thing, you know, that... Manchester had factory records and, and Liverpool had zoo records or whatever, so, you know, and Sheffield had aardvark records. Mm. So there was never really any way for the music.